As glad you're still with us on Colorado and Company. Well, salads aren't just for summer anymore. That cool crispness not only hits the spot, it makes great use of leftovers and pantry staples. Here's chef Liz Thompson with more. Well, we do love our salads around here. Chef Liz, you know a thing or two about that. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for having me on now to talk about salads in the dead of winter. That's right, salads in winter. Well, they always seem to taste better when someone else makes them, but you say that's not true at all. Anyone can make a great salad. Yes. Okay, tell me about that, Chef, and what you recommend. Sure. Um, salad, you know, salads are a funny thing. There are such standard salads that people think of in their heads. There's, you know, there's a, there's a Caesar salad, there's a Chinese salad, there's all these basics, but most people, not that they don't know how, they just don't think about opening their refrigerator and saying, hey, you know, what do I have here? Why don't I, you know, get a, get a head of lettuce and why don't, I've got some salami, why don't I throw in some salami and I've got some Parmesan and oh, black olives, let me open up the refrigerator and just throw it together. So that's what I'm really encouraging people to do. See what you have and also just, just have some basics, some basics on hand so that you, when you want to make a salad, maybe all you have to do is run to the store and maybe get some, you know, some fresh produce and then throw it all together. And it's, it's fun. It's different. And it's, you know, it's not scary. That's right. Now you said always have stuff on hand. What would you say uh, are the must haves we should all have stocked in the house? Sure. These are some of the basics that I that I have just because they're ingredients that I like. Okay. So you can see this board here. So uh, I usually always have things like salami, cheese. I'm big on having uh, candied nuts. So I always have candied pecans and candied walnuts on hand. Um, fresh quinoa, a quinoa that I actually buy ready-made at the store. So I have it in a log in my freezer. Uh, pistachio nuts, dried fruits. Here's a perfect example. I got uh, I got a gift basket from Harry and David at Christmas. I'm not that big on dried fruit, just eating it plain, but I thought, hey, you know, I could throw it in a salad. Uh, dried cranberries, goat cheese, anything, you know, anything like that works great. Oh, I love all those, all that stuff you have there. Definitely could use it for a salad. Okay, what about dressing? Like, what's your go-to and, and what's an easy dressing we should all be sure. able to make from home? Sure. I mean, most people are used to, you know, keeping a bottle of zesty Italian or um, olive oil and vinegar, balsamic, et cetera, et cetera. And I found a few months ago, I started realizing how many barbecue sauces I have in my refrigerator that never get used except during the summer. And I realized I'm not the only one. And so I just started playing around with using barbecue sauces. And one of my favorites is a, a, a sweet mustard barbecue sauce, which is basically, mm -hmm. it's, um, it's uh, vinegar, mustard, a little bit of molasses. And usually people think of a South Carolina mustard sauce to be used on brisket or, or wings or, or a pork sandwich or something like that. And I found that it makes makes a fabulous salad dressing. That does That's sound cool. good. Okay, okay. And show us what you have there, Chef. I, it sure. looks really good, whatever that you sure. have right in front of you. Got it. Okay, this I call my my winter winter color salad. I've got um, I've got some, uh, let's see what I have, uh, roasted, roasted hey. sweet potatoes. I've got uh, goat cheese. I've got cucumbers. I've got diced red peppers, diced red onions, real simple. Just very, you know, very, very colorful. Then I also have um, what I call an Italian salad. So uh, things, once again, that you would probably have in your refrigerator. Uh, uh, black olives, salami, cheese, maybe it's not provolone, red onions. Same thing. Very, very okay. simple, pretty, easy. Then I have, uh, this is one of my favorites. I'm, I'm big on... Uh, going out and having uh, an iceberg wedge lettuce salad and a mm. steak. So I call it my blue salad. So basically it's uh, it's chunks of steak. It's uh, Stilton. Uh, let's see what else do I have in here. Um, I've got some pears. I've got some uh, garbanzo beans. Just once again, just mix, mix it up and toss it. Uh, do we have time for a quick demo? Yes, go ahead. Okay, great. Uh, this is one of my favorites. It's just um, arugula, so I take some arugula, toss in a little bit of dressing, okay, and then I drop in some sliced cucumbers, some dried cranberries, some goat cheese, 
and some candy, candy pecans. Okay. Mix it up. I've already uh, pre-plated some roasted chicken. And I'm just going to plate it right there. And if you want to make it fun and you're into and you have a spiralizer at home, you can take a zucchini and you can spiralize it, put it on top, and there's your fun salad for dinner, for lunch. There you go. That looks so good, the, the spiral zucchinis. Yeah, a little fun effect there. That's awesome, Chef. And if you want more recipes, tips, and tricks for making tasty meals, go to booandhenrysbbq.com.